Hey all and welcome to another video. I'm still in using up the last of my paints mode. I'm almost there. This canvas is <laughs> a mess. I did a pour on it and it, I think I had the methicone in it because it's really, it crazed and cracked. And then I tried spraying these um, Distress Spray Stains by Tim Holtz on it when I got them. So you can kind of see that. So what I think I'm going to do today is do a uh, pour on this and then I'm going to try to spray these um, Distress Sprays on it while it's wet and see what they do. I don't know. Again, I'm just experimenting while I'm trying to get rid of all this paint. So I'm down to basically the primaries and black and a little bit of purple. So let's see. I do have some gold and silver left. I don't know if I want to put any. Well, let's just. There we go, got the purple gone. Um, I don't know if I want to put gold or silver in this necessarily since I am going to be spraying gold and silver on it. Um, we'll see. Some black, eh, whatever. Just use up the rest of that too. Blue. This cup is going to have so much paint in it, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now, the red and the yellow, I know I can't use up the rest of those in this cup just because I do not have enough space. So we'll just do that. There's only a little bit left in there, so that's good. And then the yellow. Almost. Okay, well, I can probably just dump those now. I won't feel too bad about that. That is one full cup of paint. Holy, 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 camoli. I'm going to throw in a little bit of silver just to lighten it up a bit because I don't have any white. And there we go. Okay, that is the fullest cup of paint and unnecessarily way too much for this canvas holy crap okay so <laughs> i know the canvas is off center because my cups are all wonka do oh my god this cup has so much paint in it okay it's kind of almost does feel like a waste but better to do some practicing and lose paint that way than to throw away the paint all together right Okay, so I'm going to move some things around here while that dribbles. <coughs> and then I am going to put some gloves on because that's a lot of paint and it's probably going to go absolutely everywhere. Okay. Stuff out of the way. All right. Blues. All right. <laughs> oh about to get so mad. I mean, it's a good thing I needed to um, switch out these trash bags on my table, you guys, because this is about to get crazy messy. Alright. Okay. <laughs> so much paint. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to torch. Kind of wondering if I should spray those sprays on here before I start moving it. 
Hmm. I'm going to spray a little bit over here in this corner where I know it's going to run off. Okay, come on. Oh, now my experiment might not even work. I can't get this thing to squirt. What are you doing? Come on. Oh no, what about the gold? Okay, let's see what the gold does. Oh no, why aren't these squirting? I'm so... What the heck? Dang it. Well, there goes that experiment. I just got these too. I don't know why they're not squirting. So I'll just do this instead. I'll just flick some on there and see what it does, huh? Could be cool, could be not. I don't know, we'll see. A lot of that yellow. Oh hey, it's like spidering. That's kind of cool. Squirt! Okay, I don't know you guys. I don't know why it's not squirting. Those look like little, uh, sea amoebas or something like. Alright. I'm just gonna tilt this a lot because there's a lot of paint on here. Oh my gosh. So much paint. Holy cow. I don't think I've ever had that much paint on a canvas before. Jeez. Some big old cells, though. That's kind of cool. Okay. There's still quite a bit of paint on that canvas, but I'm going to leave it. Why not? Okay, it's gloves. Good thing I put gloves on you guys or I'd be swimming in paint right now. So that's kind of cool how they like spidered out. That's kind of neat. I wish they would squirt. I don't know why they're not squirting. Ooh, maybe the little, the little pin. I got pins. Let me get a pin. I'm gonna put it through a little hole. You guys are probably like, this girl is a hot mess, and you would not be wrong in that assumption. I just want you to know that. Cause it is a hot mess in here right now. If I can unclog these, oh, I don't know why they're not squirting. Good thing these were on sale at Joann's when I got them. I'd be kind of ticked off right now. Pete's sake. Okay, so they're not going to squirt. I don't know what's going on with them. Kind of debating on whether I want to drop more on there and see what it does, because that was kind of cool when it spread. Let's see what that does. I'll do just a little one. Surprised how big those cells are. Usually I don't get cells that big. It's interesting. Drop a uh, gold one inside the silver one and see what that does. I want to get some alcohol inks, you guys. I think I've said that. But I definitely want to try those. That's cool, they're like branching. I like it. I don't know if I would uh, do that. 
do that in like a normal painting, but in a test, why not, right? Just like cover the whole painting in these things because I don't know what else I'm going to do with these ink. They're, actually, I don't even think this is ink. I don't know what this is made out of. Hmm. Doesn't say what it's made out of. It's acid free. I don't really know. So I don't think it's alcohol. They look like little uh, spiders, which is interesting because I freaking hate spiders. I'm allergic to them. I would rather never have to deal with a spider in my life. But they look kind of cool. Let's just, let's just have at it, huh? Yeah. There's nothing like just kind of being nonsensical sometimes, right? I don't even know what I'm talking about right now, you guys, to be perfectly honest. Still probably trying to wake up. I uh, was up too late reading that book again last night. I finished it. It was really good. And of course there's a sequel. So now I have to start that one. Oh. They look like little, um, like little undersea things. Little creatures. Great and bubbles though. Alright, well, I think I had enough fun playing. Oh no, I think I want to play a little bit more. Now I get to wash out all my bottles and mix up new paints. I'm going to mix up less though this time and maybe they won't get gloopy. I don't know if I have any marbles or something. You know what? I have those. You know, I'm just kind of talking to myself at this point. I have little uh, beads. Um, those like flat glass stone thingies that go in like vases as decoration. Maybe I'll throw some of those in there and see if that helps keep the paint mixing. Anyway, I'm done now. <laughs> I'm gonna go drink some more coffee. I'm gonna let that sit for a while and see if it, I mean, I think it's gonna keep doing stuff cause I kept throwing stuff on it. So I'll be back in a little bit. I, I'm a liar, you guys, if you haven't realized that yet because I can't leave well enough alone and I still have paint left. I decided, hmm, I am going to try to mix these together now. The, whatever this spray is gonna pour some of that into some red mix that up pour it on the painting and see what that does that could be cool because I this is my last like super test before you know I get new paints and I stop messing around <laughs> well that's a lie I don't think you ever stop messing around when you're <coughs> doing this kind of stuff Okay, so I mixed that gold in with the red. It's definitely like a shimmery red now. I don't know if it's going to react any differently to this other acrylic. I'm going to try to find a place where I didn't splatter it already. See what that does. Get in there and blow on it maybe. Hmm. So it looks like mixing that, whatever that spray is, with the acrylic didn't necessarily change it in any way. But, this is cool, for sure.
did add a nice cool little shimmer to it though so sometimes I want more shimmer in my paints and I don't necessarily want like a full metallic so this would be a way to do that looks like You guys are probably just watching this. If you're still here, I don't know, maybe y'all left because this has been like a weird video. They look like maybe fireworks too or something. Hmm, where's my straw? Need my straw. Alright. It's interesting. Kind of cool. Definitely creates a lot of bubbles. Maybe I should have read these first to see if they were flammable. <laughs> May irritate eyes, avoid contact, and this product contains chemicals known to, oh, to cause cancer. So that's good. I don't say anything about being flammable though, so that's good. I'll just risk the cancer, I guess. <laughs> okay, this has been a really weird video, you guys. <laughs> I don't even know how good that lighting is for you to see anything that's been going on on there. Eh, I'll just bring you down for a close-up now. <laughs> In like 20 minute video I don't know what happened here so that stuff is cool I don't know what it's made out of like I said I didn't say but it um it's kind of cool so I may obviously so like here the silver ate down through the red and got onto the black which is pretty cool so I may kind of play with that stuff some more, that's for sure, because it's kind of cool. Yeah, that's pretty. It looks like a little starburst or something. Not the candy. <laughs> okay, so this video is like 20 minutes now, and that's ridiculous for just a practice -y weird video. Anyway, <laughs> if you guys like this video or not, because like I said, I don't even know this video got crazy away from me but um yeah go ahead and hit subscribe and more will be coming your way guys <laughs>